showtime! Catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. Clearly try to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had to say it on live TV, too. Don't be so sour. There are, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Aw, what a nice thing to say. Still, was what a catchy saying actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why do you gotta bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are Phantom Thieves on. I doubt everyone will forgive us for what we did to Bandarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamoshida too. We weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but... What do you think? Are we being selfish? <laughs> Ketchy makes me so mad! <laughs> now, like... This is kind of like how I always felt about the whole Phantom Thief thing, is like... I, I think it's like a necessary evil. I don't necessarily think that having the power to forcibly manipulate someone is a good a good thing, but um the way we handle it, like obviously I'm gonna be biased towards the fan thieves because I know what they're doing. So um I mean in a way it's kind of selfish. Uh hmm, I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision and rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thi I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. Just you watch, Akechi. Someday you're totally gonna see who's right. Okay, let's talk. Let's stop talking about this for now. That detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Oh my God, what do you want? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, you heard what Akechi said, right, Scooper? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves as criminals? As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show Akechi how people online really feel. I'll change up the survey question uh, tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? <laughs> True. He means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Time for a special edition of Discovery Town Detectives. Uh, oh, these irregularly broadcast specials. We share limited edition items that are all the rage. Soothing Soba. What do we... Oh, wait. Is it... Huh? You're back already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not gone for too long. Mm -hmm. What's... Let me, let me see. Who's available? Kawakami. Wait, do I have enough guts to talk to Kawakami? Does anyone know? Oh! oh! Oh. Hi! Hi! Oh wait, it's you. Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the request fee inc- Oh my god! The one time, I feel like I'm abusing my money, dude. Woo! Woo, dude! Do you like pancakes? Of course I like pancakes. They're very delicious. Come on over, Kawamami, dude. So, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Chat, how is the game sound? Is it too low or does it need to be higher? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> dude, this shit gets me every time, dude. Listen, um, I was really lonely. <laughs> I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. I think it's so good that he, like, leans in. Like, if this was voice acted, the dude would lean in, sound super fucking depressed. I was really lonely. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. Let's go, dude. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. In an exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? Yes, ma'am. Then it's a deal. It's showtime! <laughs> 
Hey, thank you, my man, Mr. Wreck, for the two months. So there we go, baby. Persona voice actor protagonist. Dude, one of my big wishes for Persona 6 is for the game to be entirely voice acted. I know Atlas is, does not make as much money as Nintendo does for like Fire Emblem, but I would love to, to see it. I think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? God, I want to date Sai so bad. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Fire Emblem over Persona? Oh, I love Fire Emblem, but it's uh, not Persona for me. With one of my students. Like, a, a lot of what Persona does, um, just feels really, really good. I don't know how to explain it, but like, a lot of... A lot of its combat feels like super satisfying for me. And I love Fire Emblem. Like, Fire Emblem, especially Three Houses, is like a 10 out of 10 game to me. Um, but... Persona's just something else. Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? Well, I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Knowing her secret. Oh! Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. God, can you imagine, bro? People think Kawakami's too old, so they don't request her. Bruh. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just more requests for me, baby. Just think about it, okay? Didn't step on me. <laughs> Master. Whoa, okay, dude, okay. <laughs> oh, God, you have no idea how exhausting this job is. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both our sakes. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. It'll be our little secret just for Becky and Master, okay? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> fucking please stop talking like that. I will if you will. Oh my god! I love how you can see the big picture! I'll make sure to keep my promise too! <laughs> this dude, the, the fucking, I swear to god, the way they do this shit is so fucking ridiculous, bro. Oh, and don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Bye. See you later. Alright, bye bye. The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Did you just hear this girl? The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Okay, man. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> Whatever. I can't believe we were on TV yesterday with a catchy coon. It was like a dream come true. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like the Detective Prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool. We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy. Okay, weirdo. I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform and without seeming like a snob. He's a natural at public speaking. I hear, I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. That's part of what makes him so amazing. Hey, whatever. Uh, he wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say, I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're gonna air it again tonight. Why didn't you romance Takemi? Uh, that's like the prime girl to step on you? Listen, man. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Ow! 
<laughs> what the fuck? You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Yeah, pass me some on. Give me some. Sorry, just ate the last one. Okay, okay. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Oh shit. <laughs> the hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? Yeah, did you snooping? You said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? Your student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Oh shit, dude! Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? Oh shit, dude! You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. You gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Damn, dude, we just roasting Makoto, bro! Just make sure you show up to your classes, alright? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Ooh. What is this? Maybe I could. Sorry. Oh. oh! Okay, never mind. Hey, Blanklim, ranking up the social link, dude, respect. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. They were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, An's house. You know, I fucking respect how Chadley Yusuke is right here. Dude literally makes the decision to live at An's house. Packs everything up without telling her at all, dude. He just shows up. Yo, An, I'm living at your place now. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. He's so dumb. <laughs> that's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? <laughs> well, 
seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, I love oh, this next idea. scene. Well, we can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Chris, you're Sorry fine. to cause you trouble. <laughs> By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. <laughs> Joker Link, Sergio, and Yusuke. <laughs> True. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? Sergio's like, three dudes and a girl? Look at his face, bro. He knows. This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. I got you, dude. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. And then Ryuji's like, <laughs> You got a soda? Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. Yo, I respect the chug, though, dude. God damn. Ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid, either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. Oh my god. So you're uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sojiro, bro. Respect, dude! Respect! Never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place. Oh shit, my bad. Go on. Oh right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. <laughs> no one wants to carry Morgana. <laughs> Poor guy. Huh. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? For real? Oh. See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Aw, thank you. What? <laughs> well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. Is this new? I can't Time tell. Think about our next move. You were planning on I remember the hot pot right? stuff, but I don't remember this. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? It's not? Okay. I don't. 
Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? I knew you were gonna say that. Seriously. It's so like you. Yes, sir. But what else can we do? Damn it. Never gonna prove a catch you wrong at this rate. Oh. What the Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Like what's going on, Yusuke? You alright, man? And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Damn, bro, you saw that with your eyes Can't closed? Can hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. Man's like, I want porridge. Joker's like, I want udon. Fucking Yusuke. Fuck out of here, dude. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. So lonely. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. You just gave eating bread crumbs every day to survive. Dude, you're not wrong. Is it down here? Oh. Hey, give me your curry pot. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Yes, sir. Want to join? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. Very nice. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Very true. Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Joker, it's right there. Are you blind? Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? How's the game? So far, 10 out of 10, but we got a long way to go till we finish. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. 
You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. It's showtime! as difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use And it's fucking up already. Oh! Chat, I'm gonna fucking... Just unplug and replug. Sorry. Now. Yes. Mm hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Is it good now? Uh, you guys tell me. It hasn't oh, fucked for me yet. Another bite. But I don't know how it looks on stream. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. Bro, Sim Ghana will find any fucking opportunity to like me mention how much he wants to marry On. I swear to God. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <laughs> fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> They're trying to look up her fucking ass, What's bro. Wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? I would like some udon Just right now. Leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? What's wrong with you, Not man? So different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? So you're telling me the quiet ones, would they would just stay back and nut from a safe distance, bro. I can respect that. Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Can you guys sleep with your head resting on your head like Ans is? I can't. I've tried, but I can't. I can sleep like this, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this comes across well visually, but I can sleep like this. Uh, but I need a, generally I need a pillow. Uh, what do you call it there? So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. I really respect, like, Ryuji, how, how far Ryuji will go for his family. Like, that's... He's a legend, bro. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. I actually had something, uh, similar happen to me. That shit was fucking wild. They say at school that everyone is equal. But in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Sue brat, I'll damn! Damn brat, I'll sue! <laughs> if you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, 
Make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... This is bullshit! Shut up. You're done for. You're okay, gonna buddy. learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. The police are my bitches. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. Okay. Bitch! It's as she says. I save your ass and you fucking throw me to the dirt? Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? It was pretty dark. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. I don't, I'm not sure if that's what we should be taking away from it, Morgana. You've all taught me so much. I love you, Yusuke. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. I mean, I've known you since Persona 5 base, and let me tell you, it, you know, I, I think I've said this before, but originally, chat, when I bought Persona 5, uh, my the first girl I wanted to romance was on because Jesus Christ, look at her, dude! But then uh, my, my opinions changed as I actually learned who the characters were. I still think On's an amazing character, but like, uh, Futaba's just perfection. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the- Oh, my bad, dude. I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. Aww, Ryuji! And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? What a homie. I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. I love this. I love this uh, dialogue. No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! 
You can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Hey, leave it to me, dude. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Dude, I want everyone to sleep here. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Ha <laughs> ha Ryuji. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? Yo, Ryuji, smooth with it, dude. You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. We're gonna get horny. She just said goodnight to you, bro. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. <laughs> I can't let her get taken by someone else. <laughs> oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about Odd? As, as a girl, I mean. Oh, dude. She's breathtaking, my man. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> I fucking love Yusuke, bro. Like, dude! What the fuck, man? Oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? Yes, sir. I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... hmm. Still... Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> I can't stand it anymore! Just imagining Yusuke fucking yelling at this old man with his dick just fucking like flopping around. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Yus oh, did I say Yusuke? <laughs> I'm a Ryuji. Yo, what's up, Yusuke? Did something happen? I'll be fine here. I, I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Aren't studios like really, really small? <sighs> I'm going to protect my sleeping beauty no matter what it takes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but I'm still awake. <laughs> Check out these pics. Uh, check out the pictures I took today. Yo, what? The steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of eating hot pot. Can I like zoom into the photo? <laughs> Dude, Joker's fucking sweating his ass off, bro. This is cool. What the fuck? Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture and Funky's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke's still at Funky's place, right? Don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course. I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. <laughs> All I can ask is a warm futon and traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. What, what exactly is a traditional Japanese breakfast, chat? 
Isn't that just like the rice with the, the egg on top and you like cut the egg open and the chick, you know what I'm talking about? Curry? Honestly, I'm about Let's to eat some curry on stream. Let's turn in for the night. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Oh! Yes, sir! Rice with miso soup. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Tiki masala is traditional. That shit is good as fuck, too. Rice, miso soup, and some kind of fish. Oh, actually, yeah. So get some food. Yeah, I'm probably going to get some food uh, in a little bit, and I'll just eat on stream. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Okay, I'm standing straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. Right. In other words, uh -huh. they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Isn't this just more persona stuff? Yeah, I figured. All right. It's almost time. I've been hunting for uh, Silicon for the past couple hours now. Oh, really? Dude, I'm telling you, uh, chat, if you don't know much about Animal Crossing, there's this fish that only appears during the. Whoa, this is new. Oh, never mind. You're I remember this. Son's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. Oh, so cute. You have such high self-esteem. So the phantom thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. He, he's staying, bro. He's staying right now. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself too? Woo! <laughs> oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Jesus, dude! God damn! He just tore Makoto apart, bro. Looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? Oh, I feel bad for her. Oh my God. Hey, thank you for the 10 bit small pool. God bless you, my man. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. It's such a delight to see you once again on my screen. Oh, you're so handsome. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. 
Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? Uh, hey, thank you. I'm gonna call you Kuma, bro. Thank you, thank you for the 15 bits, Kuma. I appreciate it, my man. God bless you, dude. <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. God, I fucking love that Even painting. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! Hey! You're finally awake! I'm hungry. That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. I'm actually pretty hungry. That reminds me, I haven't seen Yusuke around. Maybe you went, uh, maybe he already went downstairs? Hey. <laughs> Everyone was a Makoto sim? Yeah, dude. I remember the first time I streamed P5 base. Uh, what do you call it? There were so many Makoto sims in my chat. This shit was so funny. <laughs> uh, you're finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his pa this painting before he took off, though. Suppo supposedly to thank us for taking care of us. Don't sell it. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And, uh, and this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on. Get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Joker's PJs look super fucking comfy, bro. Damn, I'm all dressed up, swagged out, dude. Thank you for letting, or thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it, and it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Okay, no, 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 all about udon, bruh. <laughs> uh, yo, I just checked the fan site. That's There's some kind of thread uh, on there looking for some info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Uh, sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if he's be it's because he caught got caught up with uh, with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. It may be too soon to assume that. Uh, the post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Uh, let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and get and catch them all red-handed. No way! The police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, if they target restaurants... Aha! What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What?! There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? 
LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. Let's do it. Cut it out. You'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I'd left the Sayuri there as well. I'd forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah, I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. So that's, that is Daybreakers, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Daybreakers. Uh, hey, shouldn't you tell the others about that target of Mementos? How many uh, Mementos targets do we have right now? Mementos, health changes. Okay, let's head to the Thieves' Den, because we got some new shit, and I want to see what the new shit is. I still think the Thieves' Den might be my favorite thing that they've added so far, just from what I've seen. I cannot wait to max this place out. So sick. Gallery. Ew! Mementos decor. Wait, what? Really? That's kind of sick. How does this look? Wow, that's fucking cool. That's so cool. What the fuck? I'm actually, I'm going to put this on. I'll change it whenever we get to a new thing. Oh wait, can I just scroll like this? Oh, I can. Speaking of so, yeah. Uh, Thieves Den steals a lot of time. Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna be messing Thieves with Thieves Den? Den a lot, like off stream. This is one of my fa favorite fucking things. I think this shit's so cool. Um, Kasumi's the best thing they've added so far. No competition. Oh, Kasumi's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. First stream I was in was Detroit Paws Human. Don't remind me, man. <laughs> Those were fun streams though. Detroit was sick. Also, look how cool these trophies look, man. I want to get more of them. That shit looks so cool. I can't wait to fill all of this out. I'm going to feel so proud of myself when... Whoa, whoa, what is this? Does this go upstairs? Oh yeah, it goes upstairs. Where's Yusuke, bro? I want to be Yusuke. Hey, my man. Woo, dude, I'm looking nice. Oh, so this is how I can get like a better view of these uh, dudes. Wait, what is this? Captain Kid, Ryuji's heart given. Oh, okay. This version of No More What Ups is, is so good. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You what? This, this fucking pussy, bro. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, they're chilling down there. Oh, that's where the Madarame shit happened. This is so cool. I love this. Oh my god, it's two two use case. Uh, a press conference room, huh? I've seen these on TV. I don't get why people bother to make public announcements for every little thing that happens. Mm. Sure, big PR disasters are no fun, but isn't it exciting to see famous people get married? Ah. Married? Okay, dude. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Marriage conferences are the best. Great minds think alike, huh, Lady On? Hmm, that was a rather sudden change in attitude. <laughs> or should I say, catitude. Hmm? Good morning. Good morning, DJ. How far are you into Persona? Uh, we're going to start the third palace soon. No spoilers, please. I, uh, I mean, I play P5 base, but like, I don't want to know any of the royal spoilers. None of that.
Is there a way to control who appears? Yeah, you can change your character to whoever you want. Inside of the thieves then, at least. Okay. So... Alright, Takemi goes up. So I feel like I should do Takemi. Plus, I gotta do it for my boy Daydream, you know? Do I have a death Yeah, I do. Alright. Takemi? I'm coming. Literally. So, why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital, a university hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they tell us is that it's persistent bronchitis. A university hospital in East Shinjuku. The doctor there performs exams like he's on the assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Wait, I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Hey. Well, hold on. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> my chest really hurts. Doctor Takemi will help you. What? What? Doctor. <sighs> Fine. The girl has a really deep voice. Okay, listen, I'm not Nanako, mm. bro. Big bro! <laughs> Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? Hello, Uehara-san. Is Dr. Schweitzer there? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. See, guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Also, bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Hmm. It was a very unique strain of an, of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppressed the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that'll be one million yen for today. A, a million yen? That's outrageous! You're, you're completely taking advantage of... Alright, I agreed to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. What? what? You're actually gonna pay? By the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it Medical Chief of Staff Oyamada? Yes, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. Free? <laughs> <laughs> you seem happy. Doesn't it feel good? Treating his patient without permission. By the way... Thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm gonna perform a very special exam on you today. Yes, ma'am! So, is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Yes, ma'am! Alright. Um, doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor! Is that high pitch enough, chat? Don't mention it. 
your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. Oh my god, dude! 